Back, demon. Back. The power of Gunpla compels you. Back. Decals. You either love the very sight of them, or you see them as the demon incarnation. Jokes aside, personally I think it's one of the easiest way to elevate the look of a kit and it's actually very forgiving to use. When I first started doing Gumpla, I frequently asked these questions. How do I apply them? How strong is the adhesive? How long should I dip them in water? Which brand is the best? Are they actually demonic? Hey guys, Complanibi here. Today I'll be showing you guys how I apply decals and compare different brands that I've used. It might surprise you guys, but Bandai decals are not the best out there. Before I show you guys how I apply decals, just want to let you guys know that these are my methods and it's possible that there's more efficient way out there to achieve the same result. Let's look at what I usually use for decals. If you've been following my channel for quite a bit, I'm sure you've seen this green container. It's actually a sewing needle container. I like to use the foam pad on the cap to absorb excess water. Next, I have a crocodile clip skewer to shift the decal around to get the alignment that I wanted. Then I'll have a typical cotton bud where I wet one end but keep the other end dry. I use the wet tip to reintroduce more water if I need to readjust the decal placement. Once I got the placement down, I use the dry tip to roll the moisture out of the decal. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. Is this normal for you guys? How do you apply yours? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's talk about the different brands of decals and how do they compare to Bandai default decals. I'll be comparing a few decal brands that I already have. We'll look at the quality of the cut, print clarity, and the thickness of the decals. As someone known to always get our cheapo tools and supplies, I'm always on the lookout for cheap decals and to justify shipping fee, I usually buy a lot. Well, maybe a bit too much. To compare the quality of the decals, I've painted this piece of plot plate in gloss black so that it'll be easier to spot the differences. First contender, I have an unbranded decal from China. I remember buying these from an online decal printing store with a lot of custom decals. At a glance, the print quality is not very good. If you look closely, you see a lot of uneven prints. Some sentences are actually crooked and fuzzy. It looks like the edges are not cut properly as well, which made it worse. Next up, we have a pretty popular brand from Hong Kong, known as Daling in Mandarin, but in Cantonese, they're pronounced as Dailam. For simplicity, I'll be calling them DL. They have this confusing branding thing going on with another brand in China, so I'm not sure what's going on over there. But you should be able to see this emblem on their decal. I'll leave that topic for another day. Back to DL. They have a lot of choices for many specific kits. So if you're looking to get some water decals for a specific kit, chances are they already have one in stock. The print quality was decent, the edges are kind of okay, however the consistency of the print quality may vary. The surface of the decal have this matte finish look which made the edges stand out even more. Next, we have Bandai water decals that came included with their work hard kit. I have some leftovers from the new work hard kit that I completed two years ago. The lines are sharp and the texts are readable. The edges were nicely cut and the print quality is pretty good. But there's one thing about Bandai water decals that I find very annoying. It takes way too long to activate. Let me show you what I mean. This was recorded without any movie magic and it's been pretty consistent with all decals from Bandai that came included with their work hard kit. Is it the same for you guys or it's just me getting old batches? Let me know in the comments. Looking at them together, it's quite obvious that Bandai decal is superior among the rest. The sharpness of the print is obviously better. The cut of the decal is not perfect, but it's not too bad either. Lastly, we have a brand that I've started using recently. When I was doing the Ava Unit Ovan kit, Simpro was the only brand that has Ava specific decals. So I got them without knowing anything. And when I started using them, I immediately noticed the difference. The print quality is really good. But let's talk about the crazy activation time. It is almost instant activation. Since this is a bigger decal, so it took slightly longer to activate, but it's by far the fastest 
compared to the rest. The print clarity is excellent and the texts are very readable. If you compare all of them together, you could tell the difference in finishing. In terms of thickness, the generic decal have this gloss finish and it's visibly thicker than the rest. Under some lighting condition, the thickness of the decal may cast a shadow that can be distracting. Out of the bunch, I think Simpro is the thinnest and flattest. As for print clarity or sharpness, I think Simpro came out on top as well. The print on Bandai is pretty sharp, but maybe because it's a bigger decal, the print on the Simpro decals is sharper in my opinion. And if we look at the edges or the cut quality of the decals, personally, I think the worst one is the generic decal. But because DL has this weird matte texture on it, the edges are very visible. And the best one is either Bandai or Simpro. Honestly, I'm leaning slightly towards Simpro again, but the cut on the Bandai decal is not too bad either. We all know that applying decal is never the last step. Most people would apply a final top coat to seal everything up. So to finalize this comparison, let's put on a flat coat. Since I've given enough of my personal opinion, I'll leave this final thought to you guys. After the flat coat, leave a comment down below. Which one do you guys think is the best one out of the four? Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope it's been helpful. Is there anything else you guys would like me to cover or compare? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright then, see you guys next time and stay safe.